Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. We know partial fraction can be a useful technique to solve the today questions, but it can be quite tedious and potentially cause careless mistakes. We are going to solve this question without using partial fractions, instead of using inverting variable strategy. But first, let's define substitution u equals to x squared, therefore du equals to 2x dx. When x tends to infinity, u also tends to infinity. When x equals to 0, u also equals to 0. q become 1 over 2 integral 0 to infinity, u divided by u power 3 plus 1 du, labeled as equation 1. Apply inverting variable strategy, change the u become u power negative 1, du become negative u power negative 2 du, infinity becomes 0 and 0 becomes infinity. This gives us q equals to 1 over 2 integral infinity to 0 u power negative 1 divided by u power negative 3 plus 1 and then multiply negative u power negative 2 du. Over here, there are two improvements we can do. First is to cancel the negative by swapping the integration bound. And then second, we can multiply u power 3 divided by u power 3. They give us a new q equals to 1 over 2 integral 0 to infinity, 1 divided by 1 plus u power 3 du. Label it as equation 2. Let's apply equation 1 plus equation 2. They give us 2q equals to 1 over 2 integral 0 to infinity, u plus 1 divided by u power 3 plus 1 and then du. We can simplify the constant in front of the both side. And then refer to the cubic equation a cubed plus b cubed is equals to a plus b and then multiply a square minus a b plus b square. Which means u power 3 plus 1 power 3 is equals to u plus 1 and then multiply u square minus u plus 1. The u plus 1 at the denominator and numerators are cancelled. They give us q equals to 1 over 4 integral 0 to infinity. 1 divided by u square minus u plus 1 and then du. The constant 1 can be rewrite as plus 1 over 4 and then minus 1 over 4 plus the original 1. After completed the square, the denominator of the integrand become u minus 1 over 2 and then power 2 plus square root of 3 divided by 2 power 2. This is integratable. We obtain 1 over 4 multiplying 2 divided by square root of 3 multiplies inverse tangent of 2 divided by square root of 3 multiplying u minus 1 over 2. Put in u equals to infinity and u equals to 0, q become 1 over 2 square root of 3 multiplies inverse tangent of infinity minus inverse tangent of negative 1 over square root of 3. We know that inverse tangent infinity is pi over 2 and we know that inverse tangent negative 1 over square root 3 is negative pi over 6. They bring us to the conclusion of this video. The final answer of this question is equals to pi divided by 3 square root of 3. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please continue support my channel. Subscribe, give a like and share my video in your social media. See you soon for new video. Bye-bye.